Greetings, dear members, and welcome to another edition of HJ Global News. Latin America, a region that still retains the pristine beauty of its natural environment, is a region deeply cherished by true parents, and they have conducted their earnest devotion there. Their pictures cast upon the shores of the Pantanal, tightly gripping their fishing rods and praying for humanity, its happiness still vividly lingers in our minds. True parents initiated numerous projects in Latin America aiming for the preservation of the environment, the eradication of hunger, and the augmentation of food production. This region was their stepping stone in the quest to formulate an ideal lifestyle. In this edition of HJ Global News, we delve into the detailed account of the tour undertaken by Reverend Song Yong Chun, the president of FFWPU International across Latin America. Subsequently, we will share the latest updates of the Providence from around the globe. Latin America, a land blessed by God. True parents very early aware that Latin America would present the vision of a peaceful world, laid a solid foundation there to preserve the environment and soul food issues. They also promoted a headwind thought to fight against the expansion of communism throughout the region. The Pantanal project, which True Parents undertook in South America in 1995, covered several countries, including Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay, and Argentina. The Pantanal is the world's largest tropical wetland, stretching from central West Brazil to the border of Bolivia and Paraguay. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, preserving Asian natural environments. On a barren and untouched land where nobody lived, where the temperatures could rise up to 40 degrees Celsius, where you had to fight against swarms of mosquitoes, and where there was no basic infrastructure, such as water supply facilities, many missionaries were sent to South America under the direction of True Parents to truly begin the Pantanal project. As a result, the New Hope Farm was opened in Jardim, Brazil, and the Reda project was launched in Paraguay. Buildings were thus built in isolated fields and classrooms for children were built next to the abandoned buildings. The efforts to establish an ideal lifestyle and achieve food self-sufficiency truly began with the start of cattle and pig farming and the establishment of fish farms. Recently, through Mother Sen, President Song Yong Chun to Latin America to encourage the community of blessed families to make a new start and to invest in witnessing centered on the spirit and truth. The tour began at the New Hope Farm Training Center in Jardim, where True Parents offered numerous conditions of devotion. It was a precious opportunity to fill their hearts. During the farm visit, Dr. Song expressed his expectation, wishing in particular that the dream of proclaiming the Heavenly Parent to the entire world will be as big as the immense mango tree planted by True Parents 20 years ago.
during the Latin America Strategy Meeting held over two days at the FFWPU, Brazil National Headquarters in Sao Paulo, leaders from each sub-region presented their activity reports and strategies in line with the guidelines of the international headquarters and providential organizations. After the meeting, they offered fervent prayers during the prayer vigil at John Shimon, pleading for heaven's assistance. Dr. Song also shared a meal with VIPs who actively support the activities of UPF, urging them to continue their actions in support of the peace movement. He also visited the facilities of the former Soro Kabap Football Club. On July 2nd, Sunday, a packed church in Sao Paulo welcomed President Song Yongchun for a service titled South America and Vision 2027. His sermon was an opportunity for everyone to receive the love and grace of True Mother. There was also a ceremony of thanks to the outgoing president of UPF South America, Mr. Shin Dong Mu, and the presentation of the new president, Mr. Simao Faraboli, who was greeted with a warm round of applause. In the afternoon, Matsuda Kochi, president of IYSP International, presided over the IYSP South America General Assembly, during which he conveyed True Mother's great love for future generations. All participants committed to create a hopeful future in South America. After this exciting meeting with determined young people, Dr. Song's team moved to San Jose, Costa Rica, Upon their arrival, President Song's team participated in the General Assembly of Channel Cook Leaders of Central America and the Caribbean. The first day, the leaders presented strategies to be implemented at sub-regional, continental and international levels. The second day, there were reports from each nation and reports on the Chombo Providence. The question and answer session that followed was an opportunity for the leaders to exchange and propose solutions for the smooth running of the providence. The IYSP General Assembly continued in the evening. It was a real moment of communication and exchange with the youth. On the third day, President Song held a meeting with the leaders of UPF during which he met the president of UP's university, Francisco Rochas Arevena and the former president of the National Assembly of Costa Rica, Jose Alfaro. They expressed their gratitude for the major role that the Family Federation and UPF are playing in Central America. Through this tour in Latin America, President Song was able to see the progress made by missionaries who only following the words of true parents have invested their whole beings in countries where they were never set foot before. He also witnessed the passion of the youth and the leaders of IOSP, as well as the amazing results of the leaders who kept moving forward despite the risks of political instability and social insecurity. This tour was an opportunity for everyone to reaffirm their determination to provide the necessary effort for church development and national restoration. The aim is to work with passion and dedication so that everyone's effort can bear fruit. 북미가 마음이라면 이 남미는 몸의 위치였습니다. 세계 모든 난 문제를 풀기 위해서는 마음과 몸이 통일돼야 합니다. 마음은 마음대로 몸은 몸대로 가다가는 결국 영원한 자유는 없게 되는 것입니다. 우리는 본래 주인이신 창조주 하나님이 세운 이 아름다운 지구를 지켜야 하며 살려야 합니다. 이 남북미가 전체 지구를 볼 때에 등뼈와 같은 위치에서 참 부모님과 하나 되어 세계를 향해 인류를 향해 희망을 주고 그 생명을 지키는 데 있어서 이 
아마존 지역을 우리가 보존해야 할 것입니다. 그래서 나는 HJ 매그놀리아 재단을 만들어 세계를 품고 살리고 매길 수 있는 그러한 남북미로 만들고 싶습니다. 그렇게 될때 하늘이 축복한 이 대륙이 하늘 앞에 책임과 성령을 드리는 하나님을 모신 신중남미가 되기를 축원합니다 감사합니다. The special itinerant preachers from Chonshimwon plan to continue their tour to share the spiritual works and grace of Chonshimwon. A special Hyojon Chonbu seminar was held in Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. It was a precious time during which the blessed families inherited the grace and heavenly fortune of God and true parents through the Chanyang session, the ancestor liberation and blessing ceremonies, the Hyojong offering fervent prayers and sincere communication with their ancestors. Hainun International hosted a program for young people from all over Central and South America in Costa Rica. Through this two-day program, participants were able to liberate themselves from the shadows of their lives and felt empowered to receive the blessing and create radiant, blessed families. It was also an opportunity to form deep bonds with Heavenly Parent. The UP of Korea held several ceremonies over the past months to inaugurate the new presidents of local branches. The inauguration of the Kyombok region was held on June 20 and the Maritime region on June 25 and for the city of Ulsan on July 8. The new local branch presidents have pledged to involve more public opinion leaders in our activities and to secure a national council of one million people preparing for unification in the pursuit of a new vision for a unified Korea. In presenting their respective visions and activity plans, the new president shared the future directions of UPF activities with participants. The Pacific Christian Leadership Conference, PCLC, held its 13th online conference. The event was themed Meeting with God and Loving Parents. Nearly 500 people from 24 Asia-Pacific countries participated. The program included a welcome speech from the Asia-Pacific Regional President Hori Masaichi and lectures by Dr. Robert Kittel and Pastor Luke Bikaya, President of the National Council of Churches in Nepal. It was a valuable time of reflection, prayer, exchange, and a unique opportunity to learn from each other. In the United States, leaders from WCLC, ACLC, and IYSP organized a banquet to share the vision and motivation of the Peace March held in May in New York. The program revolved around the theme Interfaith, Peace, Unity, and Reconciliation Strategic Framework. In Argentina, about 20 Songhua students participated in a two-day Divine Principle Seminar. They listened to the Divine Principle Lectures, ended the day with Hundoke, and participated in various activities that allowed them to learn about the church tradition and strengthen their fraternal ties.
In the Philippines, the Coming of Age Festival was held under the theme Spring of Life, Blooming with Your Jong Heart. 135 second generation youths participated in the event during which they received symbolic purity rings. They pledged to maintain their sexual purity until the marriage blessing to realize ideal families. In Cambodia, IYSP, in collaboration with the Family Federation, organized the Happy Day Seminar. The program included various fun activities with the goal of helping young people find the purpose of their life and become children of heavenly parent. At the end of the event, all participants agreed to attend the next one-day seminar, leaving the event with happy smiles. IYSP Uruguay celebrated Grandparents' Day by organizing a volunteer activity in a retirement home where they cared for the elderly people. In Korea, the national leader Song Gwang Sok held a special lecture on the unification movement, which was attended by the cadets of the Universal Peace Academy (UPA) during their summer practical training period. It was an opportunity for the cadets to study about the peace achievements of true parents, share the challenges they need to tackle in the future, and have their vision. During the summer witnessing campaign, the UPA cadets will be dispatched to various locations throughout Korea and are currently engaged in witnessing activities preparing open worship for new guests. Reverend Song Gwang Sok, the national leader of Korea, continued his national tour by visiting the Incheon region and southern part of Gyeonggi province for two days. President Song testified about the numerous works of true parents for world peace and encouraged all members to redouble their efforts to open the era of Korean unification and to triple the joy of victory through witnessing. In the Philippines, over 130 leaders and members attended a seminar on witnessing, reflection, and church development. The program included presentation and reports on witnessing activities, and a special emphasis was placed on the prayer conditions at Chon Shimwan. Hori Masai, the Asia Pacific Regional President, then highlighted the importance of the witnessing activities, and all the participants made a firm resolution to give their best to achieve their goal. On Saturday, July 22nd, at 3.30 p.m. Korean time, IPS TV will live stream the International Leadership Conference, ILC, which will be held in Cambodia. The event will be simultaneously translated into Korean, Japanese, English, Spanish, and French. We hope that many of you will follow it live. There is a profound saying in the Jewish scriptures, winners calculate while in motion, while losers are consumed with calculations even before the race begins. This enlightens us that the significance we place on actions influences our victories and defeats. In the eight books of John Song Gyeong, the holy text discussing the life of faith and its implementation, True Father emphasizes the criticality of faith and accentuates that faith alone is insufficient. It must invariably be complemented by actions. It is thus by intertwining our faith with tangible actions that miracles can manifest. With these words, we conclude this edition of HJ Global News. Thank you for being with us and may God bless you.